I got both the one inch and X4. So let's compare them and see how they do. But first, before jumping into the video and photo comparisons, here's the specs. The advantages of the one inch is that the Lycar sensor should give better low light and high dynamic range. It's also more modular, meaning that it has potential to actually upgrade. On the other hand, the X4 has 8K resolution, 11K time lapses, better frame rate, is waterproof, has more accessories, is lighter, larger screen, and is cheaper. <laughs> so purely on specs, the X4 should be better in most cases, but let's actually go put it to the test. For this test, both cameras are on auto. The X4 has 72 megapixels and the one inch with 21 megapixels and 6.5K resolution. Honestly, I'd kind of expected the X4 to absolutely blow the one inch out of the water, but while the colors are different, I actually kind of liked both in their own little way. But I do like the X4 slightly more just because of the difference in color. Thing is, is what I was really anticipating was that the X4 resolution would be way higher, but when I actually zoomed in, I could see that that wasn't necessarily the case, as they were both equally fuzzy. In fact, the X4 almost appeared a little worse at some points. So, how about that high dynamic range? Well, actually, I think I prefer the one inch, both in regards to colors and the resolution, which I honestly wasn't expecting, even though I did say in the beginning that that was going to be an advantage, just because of the larger sensor. Okay, but that does not include the skies, as the skies were actually looking pretty sweet on the X4. Now, video. For the X4, it actually has three main options when not wanting like slow motion with 4K, which is 5.7K with 60 FPS, 5.7K plus, which is 30 FPS, and then 8K at 30 FPS. Then there's the one inch with 6K 30 FPS and 4K 30 FPS. Yeah, the one inch doesn't have a lot of options. Now, how do they actually look? Well, eh, that's kind of interesting because I personally couldn't tell much of a difference. I actually like the 5.7K plus from the X4 the most in regards to color. Ironically, even between shots with the, just the one inch mode, between 6K and 4K, the color was actually slightly different. So yeah, kind of interesting. But let's actually zoom in. And when you zoom in, you could kind of notice a little bit of a difference between the one inch and the X4, particularly in the 8K resolution. As the 8K resolution, when it's zoomed in by six, you could see that it's a little sharper and not quite as blurry. So this is actually the first time the resolution with the 8K has really played a part. Next up, I did a mini run, mainly so that I could test the weight of each camera, as when I was doing the videos with my arm, I wasn't actually noticing much of a difference like when I was back when I was testing the one inch versus the standard RS. Turns out, even after this mini run test, I still didn't really notice much of a difference. And then when I actually put it on the scale to see how much it was, yeah, it turns out they're actually very similar in weight, hence the reason I wasn't noticing it which is actually surprising because that means they really beefed up the X4. When it comes to the video on that mini run, again, it was very similar. They didn't have a ton that stood out, except that, again, the color, I think, was a little bit better on the X4. My personal preference, though. And the skies, like all of these tests, have been looking better on the X4. The thing is, is now we've got to test the time lapses. And the time lapses is when I really notice a difference in the skies. As it's, the X4 is able to shoot in 11K resolution, whereas the Insta360 one inch is only able to go to 6.5K resolution in time lapse. And I have to admit, it actually made a difference, as the higher resolution made it way crisper, and the colors were better, and the skies were better. So really, for time lapses, the X4 dominates. <laughs> really? Ironically, the skies with the X4 has really been confusing me, as I don't entirely get why the skies look so much better on the X4, as I feel like the larger sensor should actually make the skies look better, but instead they just look more mushed together, whereas the X4 looks like it was an actual sky, which is really strange. So at this point, it really looks like the one inch is losing, but actually not by as much as I would have thought. 
But this is when we actually jump into low light, which is when the export really struggles. As you can see here, when I'm running to jump into the lake at dusk, it, the resolution looked absolutely trash. Granted, that was 8K, and if you're really doing it for low light, then it would be better at 5.7K, which I will be testing here in a sec. But before we move to that, oh as a side note, that water was really cold, if you couldn't tell by the reactions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Anyways, I tested this low light even better when I went to a cave. When I went to the cave, you were able to see clearly in this little video that the X4 just doesn't get enough light from its sensor. Both cameras were on auto as this was shot, so that means the X4 was at the 5.7K resolution, which is better for darker shots, and then the one inch was, of course, 6K resolution. You can really see just how much better the one inch is at darker environments when you go into settings and then just start playing around with it and comparing the two. As you can see on screen right now, the one inch can have a way higher setting in video. And then when it comes to photos, it's the same thing as well. In fact, I got this really cool cave shot when I was deep in there and it actually turned out way better than I would have thought. Unfortunately, I didn't have the X4 with me as well, so I wasn't able to see it directly in that photo comparison but I'm pretty confident to say that the X4 just wouldn't be able to do quite as well. <laughs> Ironically, that value that I set for the one inch wasn't even as high as it could have gone. As it could have gone a lot higher, the only issue is, is the higher you set it, the more time it takes to actually take the image, which when on the same settings for the X4 versus the one inch, the X4 do does it a lot quicker. So that really just means that the one inch has a processing power limitation, which may be why some of the features that are on the X4 aren't even on the one inch to begin with. So speaking of which, that comes down to the extra features that the X4 has that the one inch doesn't. There's actually quite a bit, including just a single lens mode, which is actually really cool. And I don't get why you can't just add that on here. Maybe it's the speed or maybe it's just because Insta360 is using it as an excuse as it's a camera only. I'm not sure. Either way, it has that along with like bullet time and it has higher frames per second, so slow-mo. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Also, accessories do not come with the one inch. I don't know why Insta360 can't just add a lens guard at least because that seems kind of important for such a big lens because it's really expensive to replace. Another thing while using these cameras that I didn't really think would be as big of a deal, but I found it to be really nice, is the larger screen. I mainly just go off of the screen. I don't really connect it to a phone as it's kind of a pain to carry sometimes when I'm out doing stuff. And that larger screen has really been nice. So there we have it. Overall, I was actually way more impressed that the one inch was able to stand up to the X4 in terms of quality. And as far as like camera quality versus and video, I'd actually say they're pretty close to being equal, which definitely impressed me as I was not expecting that up against that advertised 8K resolution. Though that said, when it comes down to it, if the cameras were the exact same price and that wasn't gonna be an issue at all, I would still go with the X4, mainly because the quality is pretty much the same. Low light, I don't use quite as much. And what you're missing on low light performance gets subsidized by the accessories. The accessories and the fact that there's features that the one inch doesn't have as far as software goes. That said, if you have the one inch, I wouldn't see the, a reason to upgrade to the X4. It's not enough to upgrade. The extra features and accessories are nice, but they're not that much, and the quality isn't enough that I would care either. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting or helpful, and I'll see you later. Oh, besides some extra shots with these cameras combined that I thought were kind of cool. Let's go! Woo!